Hi friends, I'm Bridget, your go-to mattress reviewer here at Sleepopolis. Today I'm going to review the Aurora Latex Hybrid Mattress. We already know it's organic and eco-friendly, so bonus points for all you earth lovers out there. I'm going to check its firmness, its feel, its construction, and many more components, all to see if it's the right fit for you. But first, head over to sleepopolis.com where we have more unbiased reviews and information on all things sleep. We also have some exclusive coupons there too, along with in the description below. And while you're here, if you would be so kind and hit that subscribe button, we're really trying trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Love your help. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with one of the most important yet underrated components of a mattress, it's construction. What's inside a mattress can really show you how well it will perform for you. So to get a look inside the Aurora, I cut it open, but don't do this at home, it will definitely void your warranty. All right, let's start with the cover. It's organic wool and cotton all the way from New Zealand. It's textured and soft to the touch. Below that is two inches of natural latex, which is extremely durable material. You can see as I push into it, it's bouncy and responsive. And this material is also meant to contour your curves and help with any pressure points. Then below that, we have individually wrapped coils. Along with adding to the durability of this mattress, these promote airflow to help keep things cool at night, which is great for all you hot sleepers out there. And I have to point out that this mattress cover has handles, and for someone Someone who quite literally handles mattresses a lot, this is just a great addition. Here at Sleepopolis, we like to rate firmness on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 is like you're sleeping on a big pile of sheep's wool, and 10 is like you're sleeping on a barn floor. We like to use 6.5 as the standard for medium firmness. And I would give this Awara a seven and a half, so it's firmer than average. It also has that on top feeling rather than sinking into the bed feeling. But to test it further, I'm gonna take out our fancy lacrosse ball to check it for bounce and responsiveness. Just gonna drop it at different heights and see how much air it gets. And you can see that it gets a good amount, which shows me that this mattress is responsive and that you could move around throughout the night pretty easily. Your sleeping position is the most important factor we can talk about. That's because it really determines how a mattress is going to work for you. Personally, I'm a combo sleeper, switching from my back to my side. So think about how you sleep as I go through this section. Starting with side sleepers. Side sleepers, you're typically looking for a softer mattress. That's because you wanna have that contouring around your shoulders and your hips. When I lay on my side on this Awara mattress, I do feel some pressure building up. So I think side sleepers would wanna go for a softer option. Now over to you back sleepers. Back sleepers, you are easy to please. You are just looking for something comfortable and supportive. When I lay on my back on the Awara, I feel okay. I think it's a little too firm for me personally, but I do think it could work for a lot of back sleepers out there who are looking for a firmer option. And last but not least, you stomach sleepers. Stomach sleepers are looking for a firm mattress. That's because you want your hips to be elevated the right amount and keep your spine in alignment. When I lay on my stomach on the Aurora, I feel really good. So I think it'd be a great fit for stomach sleepers. Now, because a lot of these tests are subjective, I like to use the objective test of the pressure map. The pressure map uses heat mapping technology to show where pressure is forming across my body as I lay on a mattress. Here's the gist. Blues and greens are good, reds and oranges are bad. So let's take a look at my results. Here's me laying on my side and it performed better than I expected. However, there is a good amount of yellow growing at my hips, showing pressure starting to build there and you can see there's pressure along my whole side. I think a lot of side sleepers do need a softer option, but this could work for some wanting a firmer option. Now let's look at me on my back. 
When you look at me on my back, you see all blue and green. This shows low pressure sleeping on my back, so I think the Awara would be a nice fit for a lot of back sleepers looking for a firm option. If you share the bed with a partner or a pet, you're going to want to hear about motion transfer. Motion transfer is how movement carries across the bed. So think if your partner tends to toss and turn throughout the night, or if you have a pet that likes to get in and out of bed throughout the night. Personally, my cat Charlie loves to get in and out of bed sometimes throughout the night. I think it's because she's chasing ghosts. At least that's what it seems like she's doing. Some heavy sleepers may not care too much about motion transfer, but if you are a light sleeper like me, then you're gonna wanna pay attention. So I'm gonna test motion transfer by dropping this 10 pound ball at different heights to mimic movement and see how it affects that glass of water. So starting low, you can see the water's moving. And as we get higher, it is still sloshing around pretty good. What this shows me is pretty average motion transfer, which means if your partner moves throughout the night or gets in and out of bed, you're probably going to feel them. Edge support is a measure of how the perimeter of your bed supports your weight. So think if you ever sit or sleep on the edge of the bed. It also can be a really good sign of a mattress's durability and whether it has a chance to sag over time. So in order to test edge support, I'm gonna start by sitting on the bed, just kind of move around and see if I feel like I'm falling off. It's pretty good sitting on the edge right now, but to test it further, I'm gonna lay down. Now that I'm laying down, I'll do what I call the flopping fish test because I gotta move around in different positions to see how sturdy it is, and it might look a little silly. But I don't feel like I'm about to fall off at all or that the bed's sagging as I'm moving around in different positions. So the Awara does great with edge support. Let's go over the pros, or who I think the Awara mattress would be a great fit for. First, stomach sleepers. When I laid on my stomach on this mattress, I felt great. I felt like my hips were elevated and overall was very comfortable. Second, if you're looking for a responsive mattress, this is definitely it. It was very responsive and easy to move around on. And last but not least, if you are looking for an eco-friendly product, Awara is all about it. This is made with organic and non-toxic materials. And to take it even further, Awara will plant 10 trees for every mattress sold. Now to the cons, or who I think this mattress might not be the best fit for. First, if you're looking for a soft mattress, I don't think this is the one for you. It's firmer than average, and I would just go for a softer option. Second, if you're looking for a memory foam mattress, or you are a memory foam lover, you love to sink into the bed, this is also not gonna be the one for you. It's too firm of an option and is made with latex instead of that memory foam. And last but not least, when I was sitting on the mattress at different points, I could kind of feel the coils below me. If you have any concerns about this, you can upgrade to the Awara Premier, which has a thicker Euro top cover and also an additional two inches of latex inside it. Let's go over Awara's company policies so you know what to expect when you buy. The Awara Latex Hybrid ships for free in a box right to your door. It comes with a competitive 365 night sleep trial and a lifetime warranty. Now I have some frequently asked questions about the Awara mattress. So first, does the Awara work with an adjustable base? Yes, it does. You actually have the option to buy an adjustable base through the company when you're checking out. Next, how long does it take to get the mattress? So Awara's shipping times can vary depending on stock, but currently it's about three to seven days. And last but not least, does Awara offer financing options? Yes, they do with as low as 0% APR. All right, friends, that's all we have for today with the Aurora Latex Hybrid Mattress. I hope you found this review helpful. Head over to sleepopolis.com for more informative reviews and information on all things sleep. And again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go, and I will see you next time.